All right, today we're going to uh, discuss adding and subtracting rational expressions that have like denominators. So uh, our first example is x squared over x plus 5 plus 7x plus 10 over x plus 5. So just like we did way back when, when adding fractions, when the denominators are the same, we can keep the denominator and add up the numerators. So we have x squared plus 7x plus 10 all over the one denominator of x plus 5. Both fractions had the same denominator. Now we're going to treat this just like we did uh, with uh, simplifying rational expressions uh, earlier. Uh, now make sure the denominator and numerator are completely factored. Uh, so we see that x squared plus 7x plus 10 will factor into x plus 2 and x plus 5. And then we notice that we have an x plus 5 common to both the numerator and the denominator. So we can divide those out. and x plus 2 is what's left behind. Okay, so addition for adding, same denominators, keep the denominator and go this numerator plus this numerator all over one denominator and then simplify as normal. And now for subtraction, we have to be a little more careful than we did with addition. All right, we still notice that we have common denominators, both have y plus 3. And now when we um, subtract our fractions, we're going to go this numerator minus this entire numerator and this entire expression. So we need to be very careful. I'm going to highly encourage you to put parentheses around the 2y plus 15. This is just to denote that, yes, we are subtracting this entire expression away from the y squared. All of that is still over y plus 3. And then we're just going to treat this like we were before. Simplify up the numerator. So distribute the negative 1 through. So you get minus 2y minus 15 still all over y plus 3. Then look to factor your y squared minus 2y minus 15. So this factors into y minus 5 whoops, and y plus 3. And then we can divide out the common y plus 3's. So we can say you're gone, you're gone, scroll a little bit more on the paper there, and you're just left with y minus 5. So it's not really any different, but we have to be careful, this little extra step up here. When subtraction, make sure that you put the parentheses in uh, in order to not miss uh, distributing that negative 1 through in order so you don't miss a sign. That's the most common error is leaving off these parentheses. And in that case, you just have y squared minus 2y plus 15, and you wouldn't be able to go anywhere. So be very, very careful with subtraction. Study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.